All right, let's see. Who do we have going right now? Roar versus Pickle. Oh, I just put... Well, I didn't just play everything. I played against Pickle in the first round. And he got 2-0. He did. He did. Which is but saying I, something about Pickle. But I was Ganon. Which is also saying something about Pickle. Granted, maybe a little bit, possibly. Indeed. But yeah. And um, I played against Roar before. I think this is... It, it might be one-sided. It might be. But that's okay. We're, we're not here to care about who wins or loses. We care to... There were words. There were words that were coming after that phrase, and they just dispersed when the train crashed. We don't care about who wins or loses. We care about who is the most superior of the two of them, depending on whoever wins or loses. This is true. This is true. Also, when funny things happen, we care about that as well. And in fact, we, we convey that that uh, appreciation to those good things by laughing uncontrollably about them. This, this often does happen, yes. Sometimes we just say that's funny. It doesn't happen very often, but it's been known to come from time to time. Such as dead babies. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Anyway, so we have a match of the swordsman going on right here. Two partners within the subspace emissary. Crawl was a good game. Said no one ever. Hey, hey, probably, probably. Probably. Now, I've never actually played a um, Fire Emblem. Okay. Is Marth technically a knight? Possibly. I think his classification within the game is a lord, but I don't know. Roar okay. going with the So it's not quite a movement. battle of the knights. I wouldn't say so. But uh, I think matchup-wise, Mennonite is superior here. Marth is considered to be low-ish tier in the Smash 4 tier list, and Mennonite is around the medium range. So, uh, matchup-wise, it's probably going in Mennonite's favor. Not just because of uh, Marth being unable to hit Mennonite, but also because Mennonite has some uh, early kill moves in the right places and is rather quick with, yeah. with, its attack, with his attacks. Right. I, I said it's there because Rar is uh, of the female persuasion. She has been known to be at times, yes. And uh, Mennonite is also known I've to also be... I've also noticed that a lot when I play Pickle. He is he he's really good at countering when you think you can get a kill off. When the opponent of Pickle thinks he can get a kill off, right? Yes. Okay. Unfortunately, it does not work for Ganon's side B. Rip. I feel like Roar could really capitalize on the countering situation by uh, the by grabbing to be able to avoid all that. Similar to Ganon's side B. And I'm pretty sure if Roar plays long enough, she will... Um, She'll probably adapt that strategy. I mean, she does love her grabs. I mean, what player doesn't? If you can grab, why not? Right. And if you can't grab, Wobbuffet. Oh, it was perfect. Both of their, both of their percentages were at just the right number, and then Rar had to go and ruin it for everybody. Ooh, the delayed charge oh. smash. Read that counter like a book. Except the book was in Spanish, so none of us could read it except for Meta Knight's anime voice actor. Uh, uh. Moving on to the next match. Yes, yes, let's do that. All right, uh, I'm pretty sure neither of them are going to change. Well, we'll have to see this, but Roar is known for sticking with Meta Knight as her main, and if she's in casual, she will switch to other characters, but looks like we're sticking with uh, Meta Knight versus Marth. All right, let's see where they go. Probably not going to be oh, Omega Random. It's going to be Omega Random. The interesting thing about this Wii U is that even if they didn't pick Omega Random and it was just regular Random, it would have gone to any other legal stage. Unfortunately, they don't know that, so we're just going to Battlefield. Thus nullifying my entirely pointless fun fact. That was, in fact, not all that fun. It was just kind of boring. It was. It was. Most fun facts usually are boring, I find, but that's not important. What's important right now is watching how this Marth plays against this Meta Knight's air game. Meta Knight will like to use his dash attack a lot to set up a lot of combos. Uh, Another Meta Knight player who's attending this tournament, Scruffy, is also a Meta Knight player, I believe at times, but uh, he does like to enforce that strategy a lot too. But it can be easily shut down if the opponent is a defensive player uh, blocking against a dash attack, but uh, in, so in most cases I've seen, especially with Pickle, uh, a defensive game is not one they prefer to play. That's a that's upsetting for uh, mm. for Marth. I wonder if he didn't count his air jump. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. I don't know if he still had it and forgot about it, or if he used it too early. I think he may have thought that he could have made it with his recovery. Uh, I never think that. Missed a uh, forward smash on that on that Marth, and that was the perfect tipper distance as well. Meta Knight currently at 15%, and the white player being at 69%. Oh, 
Trying to go for that dimensional cape there. Unfortunately, Mark is not at an optimal percentage to be KO'd by it. Which is something I see Roar uh, attempting a lot of, even when at high percent when her opponent's at high percentages, where um, she'll try to use the dimensional cape aggressively as opposed to using it to get away, which in in most instances does not benefit uh, the playstyle because if she misses, then she leaves herself way too open. But if she evades with it, then she can just get around the stage quicker, possibly set up for another attack. Right. I think she more so does it for swag. See that? That was swag. Also, like you said, it did just have her set up for another attack, mostly because it was at higher percentage. Now, was he at lower percentage whenever she tried to do it initially? I'm not sure what she would have accomplished with that. And Pickle doesn't seem to be countering nearly as often Ooh, as he nice was back earlier. Here. With that rage, that's game going to Roar and Marth, Pickle, uh, Piccolo going down. How are you doing so far, Bob? I am in losers. How are you doing, Neil? I'm in winners. Good job.